If you want to play blindfold chess or if you want to improve your ability to calculate up till a few moves ahead without touching any piece on the board, then your visualization power has to be really strong. And to build that visualization skill, the first step is to be able to remember all the squares of the chessboard. You should be able to remember the location of each square as well as the color of that square without looking at the chessboard. Once you have mastered that, then you can train yourself in visualizing the movement of the pieces from one place to another. And then the next step would be to visualize a few moves together, including yours as well as your opponent's and so on. And with this step-by-step -step method, you can develop and improve your visualization skills. So since the first crucial step is to be able to visualize the entire chessboard, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve that with some basic exercises. In the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to remember the location of each square on the board. And in the second part, I'm going to show you how to remember the color of each square. So let's get started. So first things first, remember the white square is always on the right hand side. The rule is white on the right. Whether you play with white pieces or the black pieces, the light color square is always on the right. Now let's learn how to remember the location of each square. Let's first look at the board from the white's perspective. So when you are playing as white pieces, on your extreme left is the A file and on your extreme right is the H file. So the files start from A to H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And since the white army is sitting on the first and second rank, so when this army starts to move forward towards the black pieces, you count up the board, that is, the ranks would increase from 1 to 8. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth rank. So if you can remember this now, it should be easy for you to find the name of any square on the chessboard from white's perspective. So I'm going to start an exercise with you wherein I'm going to remove all these board coordinates so that you and I together can find the name of each square on the board. So I have removed all the board coordinates and now let's start practicing to remember the name of each square. So for the exercise, you can take any random chess position from any of your games or you can place random pieces anywhere on the chess board and then you should randomly point at different chess pieces and try to find out the name of the square on which it is located. So let's do this together. Can you name this square? Well, since we are looking at the board from the white's perspective, that means this is A file and this is B file. So this square is on the B file and because we are going to count up the board, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is 5th rank. So the name of this square would be B5. Easy? Let's do one more time. What's the name of this square? So A, B, C, D, E, F. It's sitting on the F file. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's on the 7th rank. So the knight is sitting on the F7 square. How about this? Well, this is a C file. And it's a 7th rank. We don't need to do the counting again for the 7th rank because we just counted. So it's the 7th rank. And an easy quick way to remember is these two ranks belong to the black pieces. And we know that black pieces sit on the 7th and 8th rank. So this is 8th and this is 7th. Without any calculation, you should know that this is C7. What about this? Since this is 7th rank, this has to be 6th. So this is H6. What about this? This is H3. What about this? This is A2. What about this? This is B7. What about this? F1. And this? Since this is F file, this has to be G. And this is G3. This. H6. This. C8. This pawn over here. F6. So you might get confused a little bit in the beginning, but go as slow as you want to and then slowly increase your speed as you get better with time. Once you are thorough with identifying the name of the squares, when you look at the chessboard from the white's perspective, you should then move on to the next step, which is mastering the location and the name of the squares from the black's perspective. So when you play with the black pieces, you don't start from A to H. You start from H to A. Things get reversed over here. So this is H file, this is G file, this is F file and so on. And since you are playing with the black pieces, you are moving down the board. So you count down. So since the black pieces are sitting on the 8th and the 7th rank, when they move down the board, the rank numbers keeps reducing. So this is 8th, this is 7th, this is 6th, 
This is 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Initially, it may look a bit confusing to you, but don't worry because with practice, it will get better. So now let's practice the same exercise looking at the chessboard, but this time from the plaque's perspective. So once again, I have taken a random position on the board and we are going to identify the name of different squares on the board. So let's start with this rook. What's the name of this square? Remember, we are looking at the board from the black's perspective. So this is the H file. This is G file. This is F file. And since we are moving down the board, the numbers are going to reduce. So this is 8. This is 7, 6, 5, 4. So the rook is on the fourth rank and on the F file. So the name of the square is F4. It's completely fine if you go slow in the beginning because as you do more of these, your speed will gradually increase. So don't focus on being faster now. Just focus on getting your answers right. Now let's look at this square. What's the name of this square? So since this is A file and this is B file, we know this pawn is on the B file and it's on this particular rank. We know this rank has to be second rank because that's where the white pawns occupy. So the name of this square is B2. Now let's identify this square H, G, F, E and it's the eighth rank. So it's E8. What about this? This is D4. What about this? It's very simple. It's A1. Hmm. What about this? This is again very simple. This is H1. And this is how you keep pointing yourself to different pieces located on the chessboard and then try to find out the name of that particular square. With this randomization technique, you will be able to train yourself to name different squares on the board from both whites as well as blacks perspective. Before we move on to the next part of the video, I want you to give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. And now I'm going to show you how to remember the color of each square on the board with the help of a simple technique. And that technique is called as the even odd technique. Now, since you have already learned in the school that two odd numbers make an even number and two even numbers also make an even number, correct? And one even plus one odd makes an odd number. So this basic thing that you have learned in the school, we are going to apply this formula for remembering the color of each square on the board. You may be wondering how. Let's see. Since you already know that each square has a name. So this is A1 square. This is B2. This is C3. So every file name like this A file, C file, E file and G file. These are the odd files because since this is the first file of the chessboard, which is the A file. And since the first file is odd because it's first, it's number one, right? So we will call this file as the odd file. Okay. Similarly, C file is the third file on the chessboard. And that is why it is the odd file, correct? So A, C, E and G are the odd files on the chessboard, correct? And with the same logic, the remaining files, that is the B file, the D file, the E file and the H file are the even files because they are the second file, fourth file, sixth file and eighth file on the chessboard. Agree with me? So, and the ranks are pretty simple to know because this is the first rank, this is third, this is fifth, this is seventh. So, you know, these are the odd ranks and the remaining ones are the even number of ranks because they are the second, fourth, sixth and the eighth rank. So, now we will apply the odd even formula to the name of the square. So let's say if we are talking about this particular square. So what's the name of this square? This square is called as B6 because it's on the B file and on the sixth rank. Correct? So the name B6, B is the even number of file. Correct? And 6 is also an even number. So when two evens come together, we know the result would be an even number. So even plus even equals even. Whenever we get the answer as even, then that particular square will be the dark square. And whenever we get the answer as odd, the color of that particular square would be light. So in this case, since B is an even number and 6 is also an even number, we know even even would give an even result. So even and since we have assigned dark color to the even number, so that is why the color of this square would be dark. Let's see one more example. Let's talk about this square. This is F7 square. Now, since F is the sixth file on the board, that means F is even. Now, since this square is on the seventh rank, now seventh is odd. So even plus odd gives an odd number. So the color of this square would be a light square. 
Now let's look at one more simple example. Let's talk about H2. H is the eighth file. Two is an even number. So even plus even gives even. So since even is a dark square, so the color of the square would be dark. Now I know it's easy to look at the board and do this calculation. But if you want to remember the color of each square without looking at the board, then do this exercise with me right now. All you have to do is close your eyes and just listen to me. I'll name a random square and in your mind, you have to calculate based on the even odd formula that whether that square would be a dark color square or a light color square. I'll give you five seconds to think the color of each square. So the first square is A3 square. Now, since A is the first file, that means it's odd file and 3 is an odd number. Odd plus odd makes an even number and even number would be a dark square. So, A3 is a dark square. Do not open your eyes. Just follow my instructions. Let's find the color of the next square. C2. C is the third file. That means it's an odd file and 2 is an even number. So, odd plus even gives odd. So the color of the square would be light square. The next square is E8. E is the fifth file which is odd and eighth is an even number. Odd plus even gives odd. So the color of the E8 square would be light square. Let's look at one more square and that is G5. G is the seventh file of the board which is an odd file. Phi is an odd number. Odd and odd makes even. So the color of the G5 square would be dark. Let's find out one more square. D4. D is the fourth file. That means it's an even file. 4 is an even number. Even plus even makes even. So the color of the D4 square would be dark. So with this technique, you can keep guessing the color of random squares on the board Initially, it will take time for you to calculate, but with regular practice, it will get easier for you and you will be able to do this thing in a fraction of a second. If you are interested in gaining access to some amazing content which will level up your skills, then do not forget to join the membership program that I have for you. And before signing off, here is the question of the day for you. Without looking at the chessboard, you have to tell me whether the squares B2 and F6 lie on the same diagonal. Reply with a yes or a no in the comments box and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.